Welcome back everyone. This is your second online lecture of first chapter advanced web designing. In previous lecture we have seen what is HTML, basic structure of HTML document with different heading tags and HR tags with corresponding attribute. Now in this lecture we will be learning use of different text formatting tags in HTML and a HTML program based on the text formatting tag. So what is text formatting tags? Text formatting tags are also known as physical style tags. Text formatting tags allows us to change the style of the text just like what we do it in MS Word and in Notepad. In Word and in Notepad, we can give bold effect, italic effect, underline effect to the text. Same way, we can give a different style of the text using text formatting tag in HTML. It has different elements with their special meaning and effects in html text formatting tags are pair tag meaning it has opening tag and closing tag also now one by one we will learn the different text formatting tags first b tag b tag defines bold text Browser usually displays a text with bold effect which is enclosed between the opening B tag and closing B tag. Second, U tag. U tag defines underlined text. Browser usually gives the or usually underlines the text which is enclosed between the opening U tag and closing u tag i tag i tag defines italic text meaning browser usually gives the italic effect that is select to the right side of the web page which is enclosed between the opening i tag and closing i tag small tag small tag defines smaller text Browser usually displays the text with one size smaller than the surrounding text. Mark tag. Mark tag defines the mark or highlighted text. Browser usually gives, usually highlight the text with background as a yellow in color. INS tag. INS tag defines inserted text. It defines a text that has been newly inserted into a document and browser will usually underline the inserted text. Next one is DEL tag. DEL tag defines deleted text meaning a text that has been deleted from a document. And the browser will usually strike a line through a deleted text. Next is subtext. Subtag defines a subscripted text. Subscript browser usually displays the text half the character below than the normal text. SUP tag defines superscripted text. Browser usually displays the text half the character above than the normal text. Subscript and superscript are mostly and widely used in mathematical equation. Now we will see the actual implementation of all the text level formatting text in our HTML program. So to write the HTML program, we need a notepad. So this is my program. 
First is the doc type HTML. This indicates it is a HTML5 document. Next is HTML head title. My topic is based on coronavirus. So I am giving the title as COVID-19. Close the title. Head close. Body. I am giving the BG color as a coral. Next, after that I am giving the H1 with alignment center. H1 indicates it is the largest level of heading tag. Next is HR that is a horizontal rule. And after that I am applying all the text formatting tags. First is B tag, second is I tag, third is small tag, fourth is INS, fifth is mark, sixth is SUP, seventh is DEL, and the last one is subscript with all the sentences and corresponding closing tag also. This is important. Why? Because text formatting tags are pair tag, meaning it has opening tag also and it has closing tag also. Very good. Close the body tag, close the HTML. And now save the file. Save the file with the file name .html as a extension and execute the program in a web browser. I am using Google Chrome as a web browser. Now look at this output. This is my output. First is the title. That is a COVID-19. You can see background color has changed now. The default background color is always white now it is changes to some other color i have applied the coral third is the h1 align center this is the largest largest level of heading tag with align as a center next is hr horizontal rule next is your this is your yes correct this is your statement which is written under the bold tag so it gives a bold effect right a extra dark effect to the sentence next one is a sentence enclosed under the i tag so slide to the right very nice third is a small so it gives a one size smaller effect than the surrounding text see look at this text and look at this text it is bigger inside and this one is one size smaller next one is yes a newly inserted text this is this so newly inserted text is give it gives the effect of the underline in your web browser next one very simple yes mark tag look at this statement now state half the character above it is this superscript next one is delete right so browser gives a strike out effect meaning this text has been removed from a web page now the last one is stay at home and stay alive but look at this sentence stay at home half, it displays half the character below now you can see all the text formatting tags are appearing on a new line but important one is text formatting tags are inline element in html5 so what is this inline element inline element are those element who does not appear on a new line yes it does not appear on a new line so how it is possible that it is appearing on a new line all the text formatting tags yes right i i am using br tag i have used br tag br is used to give a line break to a web page fine so this is all about text formatting elements now here you can see the notes about the my lecture that is the text formatting elements all the tags with all the explanation of the tags with example 
and this one is the a core in the output also for the reference so you can download this document also pdf document also so here are some resources available for you if you want to download the 12th standard it commerce it textbook then this is the qr code you can scan the code and you can download the entire book in pdf format in your book or oh sorry in your mobile phone or in your laptop also and this is the 11th standard it textbook and this is the qr code for the sale that's it for the day thank you for listening this video thank you